This segment will show you how to connect the hose and the tractor battery. First, take one of the garden hose gaskets, Part T, and insert it into the swivel nut on the bypass return hose, Part 3. Note that the bypass return hose may come already assembled to the tank. Next, screw that swivel nut on the bypass return hose onto the upper outlet of the Y valve fitting. Then place the other end of the hose down through the hole at the rear of the tank. Then take the other garden hose gasket and insert it into the swivel nut on the end of the boom connecting hose. Then take that swivel nut and screw it onto the lower outlet of the Y valve fitting. Next, take the coiled hose clamp, Part S, and slide it onto the end of the spray gun hose, which is on the spray gun assembly, Part 6. Then carefully push the end of the hose onto the hose adapter on the side of the T-fitting in the end of the Y valve. Then tighten the clamp that is around the hose and the adapter to secure them together. You can secure the spray gun, Part 6, to the tank by snapping it into the large and small spray gun clips on the side of the tank. Your sprayer assembly is complete. To use the sprayer with your tractor, you will need to attach it to your tractor hitch using the hitch bracket and hitch pin, Part K, secured by the hair cotter pin, Part L. Then, you will connect the wiring on the sprayer to your tractor battery. Before connecting to any battery, take note that you should only connect the sprayer to a 12-volt battery. To connect the wiring, the red wire needs to be connected to the positive post on the battery or to the hot connection on the tractor switch or ammeter. Then, connect the brown wire to the negative battery post or to ground. For safety, make sure you never allow the negative pin on the plug to come in contact with the positive hot post on the battery. If this should ever happen, it could result in fire or explosion.